Welcome to another video for chemistry. We are discussing precipitate reactions again. So this time we're taking a look at silver nitrate aqueous solution mixed in with potassium chromate. Okay, so both of these solutions look like clear water. So pay attention to what happens here. I'm gonna slow, put it in slow motion for you. So silver nitrate is what you see right now. We're going to blend in copper chromate, uh, potassium chromate. Actually, it looks a little yellowish. And that's precipitate that's forming, that's called silver chromate. Okay, that's the silver chromate that you see forming in this reaction. That's the precipitate. Looks pretty cool. Looks like some, uh, some reddish clouds that are forming. Okay, but that's actually a solid of precipitate. And then potassium nitrate is, is a spectator ion, they are not actually involved in this reaction. So we'll dive in a little deeper uh, of what you're seeing so uh, you can see the, uh, the chemistry and how it plays out with the equations. All right, let's go a little forward now. So let's take a look at the reactant side for a moment. So the reactant side, you have silver nitrate aqueous and potassium chromate aqueous, but you wouldn't know that by just looking at the equation uh, but when you take a deeper look, you'll see that these compounds are actually not bounded together. They're separate. They're dissociated in the liquid into the ionic stage. Same thing with the potassium chromate. Potassium chromate aqueous, they're actually dissociated as well in that yellowish liquid. So that's what the reactant side looks like. That's the complete ionic equation for the reactant side. Now let's take a look at the product side. The product side, I have silver chromate, solid, and potassium nitrate, aqueous. And of course, potassium nitrate, aqueous on the product side is, again, dissociated. So anytime you see that, that term aqueous with compounds mixed together, they're technically not actually together. They're, they're uh, dissociated unbonded, free-floating in that, in that uh, water solution. So the complete ionic equation, that's what this is. We want to now go from a complete ionic equation to a net ionic equation. So we we're, going to, we're going to go atom, atom by atom, element by element, to see what is involved in the reaction. So if I look at the silver, it's aqueous on the reactant side, and then it goes to a solid on the product side. So that stays. There was a reaction. We had a change in state. And then you'll notice with the nitrate, aqueous, and then on the product side, it remained aqueous. So we don't actually want those. We eliminate those because they were not a part of the solution or a part of the uh, reaction. Next, potassium. Potassium as well remains the same, aqueous to aqueous. So it does not change, the, it is not involved in the reaction. And then lastly, I look at chromate. Chromate is, a, is an aqueous state in the reactant side, but in a solid state on the product side. So it had a change of state. So that means something happened to chromate. It was involved in the reaction. So my next step is I want to clean this up. I want to eliminate the spectator ions, the ions that were not involved in this reaction. And those are the ones that I have crossed out. So I'm going to erase those, clean up my equation a little bit. And I have silver aqueous plus chromate aqueous reacts to make silver chromate solid. And that is my net ionic equation. The net ionic equation eliminates spectator ions, leaving only those involved in reaction. That does it for this video for precipitate reactions. Good luck in your studying.